Hey guys, it's Classic Girl 96 So today I'm going to be doing a ranking video and that's going to be on my top 10 favourite Alfred Hitchcock movies. My all time favourite director, actually, and the master of suspense who's made like tons of amazing movies that could do with mystery, psychological thrillers, I can say that right, <laughs> and horrors even. So. Yeah, he's made some awesome movies and I want to sh share with you guys my top 10 of his movies. So, I'm going to start with my honorable mentions first and that is Suspicion, Darling for Murder, Spellbound, Strangers on a Train and Saboteur. So, those are my honorable mentions. All good films. Okay, so let's get into the top 10. So, my number 10 goes to The Birds. And I've got the Blu-ray right here. <laughs> yeah, I think it's my second ever Hitchcock movie I've ever seen. I think because this one is one of his more well-known ones, I guess, after Psycho. And this is like one of these horror movies he's done in the 60s. It's about these birds who like start attacking people and all that. Um, Tippi Hedren does a pretty good job into it. Like, she goes to this town and like... <laughs> And all these birds like started like attacking people and all that like a whole town and yeah it kind of like a random a very random thing that occurs but yeah the birds is a pretty good movie I think I've seen it like a few times at least and yeah I I enjoy this movie it's really good it goes to number number 10 okay so number nine goes to Notorious which is actually an older Hitchcock film from the 1940s DVD, <laughs> of course. Um, one of Cary Grant's films I own in my huge Cary Grant collection, and it stars Ingrid Bergman as well. I love this movie a lot. I mean, um, may I just I was just thinking like maybe The Birds goes over this movie or does Notorious? I think I prefer Notorious a bit more over The Birds, but um, but yeah, Notorious, amazing film. Like um, pretty like Oscar worthy performances. Even like um, what's his name the the guy who played the bad guy in it, um, Claude Rains, that's it, Claude Rains. He was in Casablanca as well, and yeah, he was awesome in that. Um, but yeah, Notorious, good film. Like, I love the ending to this, and I love their chemistry a lot in this movie too. Really good story, really good movie. <laughs> Alright, so number eight goes to a very underrated Hitchcock movie. I'm surprised this is underrated because I think this is a very good film. And that is Marnie, another cheap headroom movie. Also look at the DVD. <laughs> and the leading man is Sean Connery. He is actually the reason I found out about this movie. I was watching all of these James Bond movies and I got into him as one of my favorite actors and um, looked at his filmography and found this movie and knew it was from like from Hitchcock and I was just like, ooh, okay, so Sean's in it. And I checked it out and I actually love this movie. I can't believe how underrated this movie is. This came out like I think a year after The Birds did. And yeah, I really like this movie. Tippi Hedren does a really good job in this too. It's um it's like one of Hitchcock's like one of his psychological thrillers and <laughs> yeah, it's a good film. I enjoyed it. And alright, number seven goes to Another Cary Grant movie that is, and that is To Catch a Thief. Oh my god, I love this movie. And Grace Kelly's in it. I've got two copies. Yay. <laughs> I got the DVD and the Blu-ray. I love this movie. I think this was this is my most watched Hitchcock movie, I reckon. Um I've seen this movie probably like nearly ten times at least, and yeah, this is a really good movie. This is kinda of, kinda of the movie I'd introduce people to the most. Especially if they don't know about um, Hitchcock in general or care about Cary Grant. Because this is like one of his best movies too. So yeah, To Catch a Thief, one of my favourites. Grace Kelly does a really good role in that as well. Does good in it too. Sorry. And number six goes to a movie I actually don't own on DVD. And I've recently seen for the first time. And that is... Rebecca, that stars Joan Fontaine and Laurence Olivier. Um, it's so Rebecca. Um, like I said, I've recently gone into this movie and um, I like it. 
I think it's really good. Um, not many people talk about this movie either, and this is the first Hitchcock movie that have has won the Academy Award. I think it was this movie. I'm not sure. It has to be this movie. Um, yeah, so Rebecca makes it to number six. I really love this movie. I hope to own it on DVD one day, but yeah, really good film. I enjoyed Rebecca. <laughs> I'm um, sorry I'm not really going into details about these movies. I just want them at this quick as possible because my batteries run low and all that. And I'll just get, I'll just like talk as much as I can for you guys. So yeah. <laughs> okay. So now on the top five Hitchcock movies. So these are like my favorite ones ever. Probably like one of the best ones in my opinion as well. So right, number five goes to Shadow of a Doubt. Starring Teresa White and Joseph Carton. Got the DVD for that too. <laughs> um, I've only seen this movie once or twice, I believe. And oh my god, I was kind of blown away from this movie. It's one of Hitchcock's earlier films as well from the 40s. Um, this was probably the first movie I ever got into Joseph Cotton as an actor. I've seen like a few of these other films, but I actually really liked him in this role. I think this one in the fur man's my favorite of Joseph Cotton, but yeah. Yeah, so this this movie's about um this guy who comes to visit his relatives um in this place called Santa Rosa and his niece who's absolutely excited to see him again. Um she absolutely loves her uncle and then like she finds out something sinister about him and thinks he's involved with some murder or something this is like one of hitchcock's best mystery films and thrillers at that but yeah i love this movie it's so good Sarah but doubt great film okay guys this is oh my god i'm so excited to talk about this movie with you guys i'm so happy right now <laughs> um this is a movie i actually didn't really get into the first time but i loved i absolutely love this movie so much after the second time and oh my god, oh my god. And that is Vertigo, which stars Jimmy Stewart and Kim Novak. I am very happy to have this on Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> Vertigo. Oh my god. Very recently, I hang on. Let's go fix the camera. Why is that the same? <laughs> yeah, so Vertigo. I absolutely love this movie. I feel it. I feel an utter ashamed that I couldn't get into this movie for the first time. I mean, I reckon Jimmy Stewart did pretty good and the visuals are stunning, amazing. And the cinematography is really good in this film too. Um, But yeah, the second time I watched this, I was just absolutely blown away. And I am quite surprised Jimmy Stewart has not even been nominated for an Oscar from this movie. Can't believe it. This movie... Is like one of the best um, masterpieces in film history and from Hitchcock himself. So, um, I'm sh I know a lot of people have seen this movie, but give it a watch, please. And if you don't, um, if you can't, if you can't get into it the first time, watch it the second time. You won't regret it. This is one of my all-time favorite movies and one of my favorite movies from the 50s. That is. So yeah, love Vertigo so much. I'm glad I rewatched it again. Probably the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> uh, okay. So now my top three guys, um, so the next one is going to be another Cary Grant movie. Um, this is like one of his most well-known movies in his filmography as well. And that is North by Northwest. Yeah, so Cary Grant is mistaken for a spy in this movie. And um, he has to go on the run. And he gets help from this other secret agent who's played by um, Ava Marie Saint, is it? Yeah, a Ava Marie Saint. So, um, yeah, and he has to find out, like, what's actually going on and, and all that. And it's also got a really good ending, too. I love the, like... <laughs> um, so, yeah, they have, like, really good chemistry in this movie. And, yeah, I love the, sto the story to it. It's kind of like the start to the James Bond franchise, just the slightest. And I love this movie. I give this the number three spot. It's so good. I love North by North, North by Northwest. <laughs> All right. So this is a tricky 
top two actually because i want to put these movies in a toy really like because these two are absolute masterpieces and um i can't because they'll be cheating so i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put this movie in number two because i know my first one's gonna be so easily and now my number two goes to what is it what is it what is it Psycho, Psycho, which stars Janet Lee and Anthony Perkins, the first Hitchcock movie we've ever seen. You know why? Because this is his most well-known classic. This is what started the slasher horror movies in general. The, the master of all horrors in film history. I love this movie. This, oh my god. Janet Lee's character like goes on the run with a lot of money and then she gets caught up at this hotel who um is run by this guy who's who who I thought was pretty sus from the start just by telling what he was like. And I'm not gonna get into any spoiler territory, but like she she meets this guy at this hotel and he um talks about a little bit about his like about his living conditions with his mother and all that and this what kind of leads to the whole the whole um famous shower stabbing scene um, and yeah and then a bit and a big twist happens at the end and it um the story goes on to talk about or show um Janet Lee's on screen sister who's played by Vera Miles and her boyfriend what's his name What's his name? Oh, I forgot all his name was. Sorry. But yeah, it has a really big twist at the end. I think, um, even I didn't know about when I first watched this movie. And I was astonished by this movie. It's so good. That's why it makes the number two spot. It was my favourite for a long time. But then, like, when I watched um, the f my first favourite movie more times, I got more into that. So this makes it number two. Great, great movie. And now, guys... Number one goes to goes to Rear Window. Again, Jimmy Stewart and Grace Kelly. I'm sorry, I'm so so happy. And yep, got the Blu-ray right here. I love this movie so much, you guys. I don't, it's not just my favourite Hitchcock movie of all time, it's one of my favourite murder mysteries of all time. I'm not even kidding, this movie is absolutely amazing. Um, Jimmy Stewart, who has um, his legs broken and has to be confined to a wheelchair throughout the entire movie, he, um, this is like one of the best settings and visuals as well in this movie, probably the best I've seen in like the older movies and all that, and, um, and he has to like... <laughs> He sits there and look, looks through the binoculars or the, the telescope or something, and he has and he watches all his neighbors. Then he finds out this guy across from his flat has actually murdered his wife and all and all that. <laughs> and the ending scene still gives me the chills when the when the guy comes into his house like just out of nowhere. And it was a bit up to it, of course, but he still like comes in out of nowhere. And oh my god, that scene still gives me the chills. And Jimmy Stewart's performance was amazing in this movie. I love this movie so much when I first seen it. But after a fair few times, this one became my favourite over Psycho. And that just goes to show how great this movie is. I love Free Window. I could have spent all day talking about it, but it's so good. Even when Grace Kelly first shows up, that's one of the best, cinem like best, <clears throat> the best cinematography um bits i've ever seen as well when she just shows up her first appearance so oh yes yeah, such a good movie i love it it's my favorite it's my favorite grace kelly movie too and my favorite jimmy stewart movie my favorite movie of the 50s my favorite hitchcock film just everything in general i love this movie so that's row window <laughs> and yeah that's my top 10 favorite alfred hitchcock movies i've been so excited to do this ranking for you guys I'm sorry for the amount of editing in this video. I've had a couple of mind blanks and I've had a couple of distractions from the outside world. So, yeah, so I did the best I can for you guys. So, yeah. Um, 
my list could be a little bit different than other people's. Well, the top fives are, um, are mainly what you'd expect to see, but you know I've added like movies like Rebecca and Marnie in the top tens. Like, yeah, at least like I, my my list is a little bit different compared to other people's, but yeah. Um, so that's just all my opinion, and I reckon Hitchcock can make every good movie. I reckon all his films are great. There, there is some, a couple of average ones, not bad, but just average, but he still can make some really good movies. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all real soon. Have a good day!